Plenty of talking points to discuss this Monday as the fallout from the French Grand Prix continues. And we're going to tidy up three of the major talking points here in the news to start the week. I'm Ollie Wilson for GP Fans, and this is everything you need to know in the fallout from the Paul Ricard circuit. Sergio Perez believes that confusing messages from the FIA's virtual safety car system made him a sitting duck for George Russell at the restart of racing late on at the French Grand Prix. Perez was in third under pressure from Russell after the pair had made contact a few laps prior. The Mexican driver was told by the FIA's VSC system that the virtual safety car would be ending out of turn 9, but the VSC didn't actually end there. Three turns later, the safety car period finished and Perez was caught off guard, with Russell pouncing and holding on for the final spot on the podium. I got the message that it was going to end out of turn 9, said the Mexican driver, so I went for it, but then it didn't end. Then it ended up after turn 12, and I was just too close to it. It seems like George had different information, and he was able to prepare better for it. It was totally wrong, the system. There was something going on. The FIA were quick to respond to the comments, admitting there was a hardware issue with the system, but that the backup system that kicked in had worked as it should do in that scenario. The governing body was keen to add as well, the same information is supplied to all teams concurrently, looking to kill off the idea that the Mercedes driver had better information on track. Elsewhere and staying with Mercedes, Toto Wolff has explained why he got on the radio to George Russell as the British driver grew frustrated in his cockpit after the contact he made with Sergio Perez. The Mercedes driver made a lunge up the inside of the Red Bull man and the two touched as Perez took evasive action onto the runoff area. Russell felt that the corner was his and the place should be handed back to him after Perez went off track and seemingly gained an advantage, but it seemed many, including the Mercedes garage, didn't actually see it that way. The team principal Wolf then got on the radio to speak to the driver, a rare move from the Austrian. I felt like he was a little bit stuck in a loop of being upset about the situation, said Wolf, when asked why he felt the need to step in. He just needed to drop the upsetness and concentrate to beat him on track. And finally, Carlos Sainz has defended Ferrari's call to pit him late on from third position to get fresh rubber and serve a five second penalty, dropping him all the way down to ninth on track. The Spanish driver had put in an incredible stint, pushing through the field on dwindling medium tyres and had reached a point where he felt a two stop strategy was needed on the graining rubber. But just as Sainz was making a gutsy move on Perez to take third spot in the race, his pit wall came on to the radio telling him to pit for a second and final time. Sainz, after getting into the podium positions, could have perhaps tried to stay on track and put a five second gap between himself and Perez in order to hold on to the spot. But a lap later, he was losing 35 seconds in a pit stop that saw him regaining the track back in ninth position, eventually able to get back up to finish fifth. While the decision from the Ferrari pit wall has baffled many, Sainz has backed his team's orders, saying, I'm sure when they show me the numbers and data from the tyres, they strongly believe I would not have made it to the end. I'm sure they did this with the best intentions. When you are P3 in a podium position after starting last, the last thing you want to do was box, get out of the way and lose 32 seconds in the pit stop. So in the end, Ferrari played it safe, rather than perhaps making a big foul up and losing not just the third place, but possibly the fifth place as well, and coming away with zero points on the weekend. What do you make of the security to seal Science at least a top five finish? Let us know in the comments section below and gpfans.com for all the fallout from this weekend.